with you. Well, I think what it what it is is that you know socially we have changed a lot. We really have, and what's showing up is that we really need to redefine sexuality. We still, you know, where some people are still in the space of being caught up into what it was back in the, in you know, in the wives of being a good woman and being, and then you have the other sector where it's totally other extreme is like I'll do whatever, whenever, whatever. And so what happens is those whatever look you have, view you have to, to make it work in a relationship, it's really different. The life you know. changes, things change. So when I'm constantly working with couples uh, is really redefining their sexuality and not as a person, but just as a couple, how it looks like, because it's not going to look like when you're 15, 17, 18 as it is when you're 50, 60, and I have couples in their 60s and late 60s. That's so important. Um, and also like having conversations around sex, because a lot of the time I feel it's a little taboo. I feel like now in my, thir like I'm almost 40, in my late 30s, I feel like I feel more comfortable that way. But when I was younger that I was married, I didn't feel comfortable in having that type of conversation with the, with the person that I was married to. Yeah. And I'm, I I feel like through speaking to so many women, I feel like a lot of them do not. So it's so important to have these conversations and to, you know, really broach the topic about how are we going to be intimate now as a couple, as opposed to what it was like before, you know, when we were both single and we were out in the world, um, you know, doing our own thing. But what happens when you're married and you have kids, life changes. The conversations that you have in your own head and the responsibilities that you have are no longer that. They're more about, I got to get to work. I got on time. I got to get the baby going. I got to take care of this responsibility, the payment. Oh my gosh, the, you know, I forgot to bring the food for the dog. I mean, your brain and your role in life totally changes totally shifts and changes so you start letting yourself go who you are as a female as a as a divine woman as being central starts getting back you know it's like you you gotta hurry up because you can't carry the baby in heels you know all of that starts changing it's harder i know some women can but it gets harder and harder so hard. i feel like the definition of sexy changes once you have children um it's not the same as like when it was in your 20s it's not you know, going out in a skimpy outfit. I, I feel like after I became a mother, like owning that power of like being able to have this child and like, you know, the way that my body changed, I was able to own that later on, obviously, yeah. not like right away. Cause it, it's, it's, I feel like there's a, there needs to, uh, everybody goes through this sort of shift in their thinking about what it is to be sexy um, once they become a mom. So it's, it's very different. Um, Dr. Uh, what is her name? Esther Perel. Yeah. She talks about that a lot, about how couples really, is really hard for them to be intimate with each other when they have all these other things going on. And it has to be like a conscious effort that they're doing to be able to, you know, reconnect with each other and still have that relationship or like, you know, actively work on it to, to get it to another level where it wasn't before. So what really now we have to like put it in our calendar. We have to say, okay, I'm going to have some fun with my, with my partner. I'm going to send them a text. See, and I'm going to, you know, whereas before you'd be sending texts at night all the time to each other, talking at mm -hmm. night. Now you get home, you just want to go to sleep different places and how to send notes to each other, remind each other, to not talk about family dynamics, not talk about a house, talk about fun things, talk about things that make them happy and fun. And also to identify like, what are the things that matter to them? Like, what is it that matters to you that gets you so excited? Because whatever it did when you were 18, 21, it's not the same thing when you're 40. Yeah, that's So important. it shifts and changes. Yeah, just like we don't be, we don't stay the same person that we were when we were very young, our 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 needs change sexually as well as relationship wise, and um, I feel like the communication definitely needs to be there. Like one thing that I adapted 
as I've gotten older is um, when you just get, it's like when you start creating those elements and those thinking and making you feel sexy, you're actually starting to release like dopamine and serotonin and oxytocin in your body prior to the moment of coming, coming with together with your partner. Because mm -hmm. if you're in, in a place of like totally anxiety, you have levels of cortisol and, you know, air in your body and it reduces that possibility. So what really matters is, is creating that thinking process and letting go of all these natural juices our body has. So when it comes to that moment, you're looking forward to being with your partner. You're, you're happy about it. And then he's also teasing you. So that teasing happens prior to the moment. And